Hello everybody, today is a new day and we will be starting a new topic also. You know that I was doing, I had started with Tempest, I have completed Act 1 altogether. Act 2 which has three parts, the first part which is uh, the part where Prospero talks with Miranda, that part is done. The second part where you see we will be dealing with uh, Ariel and uh, Caliburn and Ferdinand, all three characters, you will meet them. And this part we will be talking about Prospero talking to Ariel, Prospero talking to Caliban. Okay, so these two parts together we will be doing in this video. After we have completed it, you know, Act 1, Scene 2 is huge. Together, if we do it, it will become difficult for you, okay, and very boring. So, first part we have done it. Second part we have divided uh, Prospero and Ariel, Prospero and Caliban. And the third video that I will provide is from Act 1, Scene 2. There you will find Prospero talking to Miranda and Ferdinand, Miranda and Ferdinand falling in love, that part. So, over here, let us begin Act 1, Scene 2 then, the second part of Act 1, Scene 2. I hope you will find it easy. If you find any problem in the video, you can write to me in the comment section. I will obviously try to help you out. And if you do like my video, you know, obviously, uh, just hit the like button. If you do not like it, you can also hit the dislike button. But, uh, and one more thing, if you love to the channel then you do subscribe so that and hit the bell button that you find beside it so that next time when i upload the videos you get it immediately okay so that you don't have to search for the videos if you if the videos are helping you at all okay so that's all now let's move to act one scene two and start with it and see if you understand the explanations easily second part we will be dealing with prospero and ariel the spirit the ghost and Prospero and Caliban. Caliban, you remember, Psychorax's son, who is who is a very bad looking man. So he is a human being, but he is very rude and also looks very bad. So we will be also seeing what Prospero says to Caliban. So first part, Prospero and Ariel. Let's see. Ariel, all hail, great master. So we say na jug jug geo master jug jug geo like that. Graves or hail. That means long live master. I come to answer thy best pleasure. So you see, I have come here to uh, to uh, follow or to uh, carry out all your best pleasure means all your commands. All that you order, I will do that. If you want me to fly, I will fly. To swim, then I will swim. If you want me to dive into the fire, fir, uh, I will do that also. To ride on the curled clouds, if you want me to fly high and on the clouds back, uh, you want me to ride, that I will do for you. To thy strong bidding task, Ariel and all his quality. So you see, whichever task you give me, strong bidding task, whatever task you ask us to do, whatever work you give us to do, Ariel and all his quality with all the other spirits and Ariel himself will perform everything. Okay. Prospero, has thou spirit, has thou spirit means has, have you spirit performed to point, that means performed to perfection. The tempest that I bade thee, now you understand, ye jo tempest tha, that is the storm, that is uh, not a real storm, that is not a natural storm, that is formed by whom? By Ariel, it was just a spell, magic spell, okay. So, Prospero says to Ariel that you see I told you to bring that storm, is it done perfectly? Ariel. To every article, that means to minute perfection, I have done to every detail, whatever you told me. Point to point, I have did, I have done all those work. I boarded the king's ship. That means I got on this I uh, got on this uh, ship. Then now on the beak. Beak means beak refers to this part of the ship. Okay, this part. See the the lower part. This is the beak. Now now in the waist. Waist means in the middle of the ship in all the decks and amid ships. Okay, the deck you have. Okay. In every cabin, cabin is a place below the deck where you go to take rest and it is, it is not on top, that is, it is inside below the deck, okay, where you can go and take rest. I flamed amazement, so I went everywhere and suddenly what did I do? Suddenly I turned up into a flame, like suddenly I started burning over here, okay, on the sails. Sometimes I started burning over here. Everywhere I started burning, uh, like once here, once at the end of the shape, <coughs> once on top of the shape. So I started burning in different places. Why? Because I wanted to scare these people. Sometimes I would divide. That means I, because this is a ghost, huh, this is a spirit, so he can divide his body into 5, 7, 8, 9, 10 parts. So he divided into many parts and once he flamed over here like a fire god, 
then over here everywhere separately and then on the top mast that means top mast is the you you from this picture you know these are the top mast okay then what else uh, the yards yard arms okay then the bowsprit now these places over here the extended part you see the the yards and the bowsprit then would i flame distinctly that means separately once uh, on the uh, uh, on the sails on the top mast once at the corners of the ship from everywhere i started burning and then suddenly would i flame distinctly then meet and join so suddenly everything came together and it started burning greatly like a big big fire okay jove who is jove who is this man you can be asked jove is the god of sky and thunder so you know that in the sea there was a storm huge storm so there were dark clouds miranda was describing them as the hot pitch so even uh, who causes the thunder and the lightning god jove the roman god of sky and thunder so he says that i have performed better okay the precursors of the dreadful thunder claps you see jove is responsible for the thunder and lightning the god of sky and thunder he is responsible but i have performed so well i have brought such a beautiful thunder storm and clouds and all this that i am i seem to be better than the thunder god jove also more momentary and sight outrunning were not the fire and cracks of sulfurous roaring so what happened why sulfurous roaring See, sulfur is associated with thunder because sulfur is a is a item is an item which is used in gunpowder to make explosives bombs. Okay, so that way there is a, when you hear a thunder, you can hear that explosion sound explosion. Okay, so that why that is why it is related to sulfurous roaring. The most mighty Neptune, who is mighty Neptune? Mighty Neptune is the god of the sea. First, he talks about the god of the sky. Okay, the thunder god Jove. now he is talking about mighty neptune who is mighty neptune mighty neptune is the god of sea i have given a picture over here see this is god of sea okay see the uh, this man is a very uh, you know healthy looking sturdy looking man and he has this thing like lord shiva okay so mighty neptune seem to besiege besiege means overwhelm he is overwhelm so, so big waves are created i have not only created storms i have also caused huge waves so even god neptune who is the goddess god of sea he is also overwhelmed amazed by that and he started shaking his bold waves started to tremble his own waves god neptune's own waves started to tremble and shake in fear and what happened his dread trident shake trident is this one see the dread trident what uh, trident trident is the uh, the thing that even lord shiva holds this part okay so that even he even uh, the trident in his hand started to shake because he was afraid of the storm and the waves that i caused okay prospero my brave spirit who was so firm and so constant that this coil would not infect his reason is there anybody on the ship sorry was there anybody on the ship who was not afraid of what you have done when you were blazing in uh, such a way when you were burning in different places trying to scare them was there anybody who was not afraid of you ariel not a soul but felt a fever of the mad every single person on the ship was behaving like a madman played some tricks of desperation that means everybody was somebody was screaming somebody was crying so everybody was desperate to survive all but mariners plunged in the foaming brine brine is salt water sea water is salty so it is foaming brine and quit the vessel so you see the mariners were on the the uh, the sailors were only on the ship rest everybody jumped into water to save themselves who the king's son ferdinand with hair up staring hair up staring means when you have your hair standing like this on your head when you are very afraid you will see your ha hairs will stand like this so ferdinand's hair became like this he was so afraid like reeds reed is a kind of a slender tall plant okay so it seemed that those were not hairs on his head those were actually the reed plant was the first man that leaped so ferdinand was the first man who jumped okay he was the most afraid so he jumped hell is empty and all the devils are here so he started screaming you see my goodness uh, this is this is all the devils are over here the the bad people are here hell is here so i am so afraid and he jumped into the sea water prospero 
Why, that's my spirit. But was not this nice short? Now Prospero asks, yes. So you have done this part very nicely. You have caused the storm and they were afraid. They jumped into water. Everything is fine. But other task was the people must jump from the ship when they are close to the island. Okay, otherwise they cannot swim and survive. Na? Prospero did not want to kill them. So he asks, everybody was close to the shore, na? was close to the island. Close by master. So yes, they were close. But are they aerial safe? He also has to see this. If they die, then they will be of no use. Prospero says, are they safe? Aerial. Not a hair perished. On their sustaining garments, not a blemish. So nobody was harmed. Not even a hair was touched. And you see the garments that they were wearing, the dresses, they also were very clean and neat. But fresher than before, they looked even fresher. And as thou badest order, that means whatever you have ordered me, in troops I have dispersed them about the eye. So as you have told me, in troops means in groups, I have dispersed them. I have, see, all the people are not going to come together on the island. Like it will not happen like this that Alonso, Ferdinand, uh, Antonio, Sebastian, all of them are coming together and meeting each other. No, this is not going to happen. They have, they will be divided into three parts. Okay. In one part of the island, you will see Ferdinand comes up. Okay. Then in another part of the island, you will see Alonso, Sebastian, Antonio, Gonzalo. Okay. These people are here. Then in another part of the island, you will see two other characters, Trinculo and uh, Stefano, who are less important characters. They come up. Okay. So they have been divided into three parts. This is already done by uh, Aerial, that they have been dispersed about this island. So as you have told me, I have divided them and they have in that divided way only, they have come upon the island. The king's son, have I landed by himself? So the king's son is all alone and who, who is left cooling of the air with sighs in an odd angle of the eye. So at a corner of the island, just like this picture, this man, Ferdinand, is sadly sitting. What is he doing? Sitting his arms in this sad knot. So, Ariel shows. He folds his hands and shows. You see, he is sitting very sadly with folded hands by the corner of the island. In one part of the island. Nobody is with him. Prosper. Of the king's ship, the mariners say, How thou hast disposed in all the rest of the fleet? Prospero asks now, What did you do with the, the king's ship? Okay, what has happened to that? What has happened to the other ship? Other ships that were coming with the king's ship, you see fleet. The king's ship will not be alone. Na? There will be other ships also coming with him. So he says that where are they? Where are the other ships? It is safely in harbor is the king's ship. So you see uh, the king's ship is safely at one corner of the island in a harbor. In the deep nook, that means corner, where once thou calledest me up at midnight to fetch dew from the still vexed Bormuz. What is Bormuz? Bormuz is a is an area which was famous for huge number of storms. Okay, every year a huge number of storms was caused there. So, Ariel says, Prospero, do you remember once upon a time I was sleeping in a corner of the island and you called me, Ariel, come here. You will have to go to Bermuds. Okay, you will have to go there uh, to collect, to fetch dew, to collect the dew drops, you know, the morning droplets. So, you have to collect the dew drops from Bermuds. So, you called me from there. So, in that place where I was sleeping, over there, I have left the ship. There she is hid. The mariners all under hatches. Where are the mariners of the king's ship? They are all sleeping in the deck. You see, who with a charm joined to their suffered labor. So, they were very tired after handling the ship during the storm. They were already very tired. So, now they have all fallen asleep. I have left asleep and I have also cast us a charm, a magic spell on them so that they do not get up and run around on the island. Because Prospero has a plan. You can understand. Why has Prospero divided all these people? Because he has a plan. So if people are not under the magic spell, then it will be difficult for Ariel and Prospero to control them. So everybody in some way or the other, they will be under the spell. I have left asleep and for the rest of the fleet which is dispersed, they all have met again and are upon the Mediterranean float, be bound sadly home for Naples, supposing that they saw the king's ship wrecked and his great person perish. So the other ship, other, uh, other, what, the rest of the fleet, okay, the rest of the ships, what has happened to them? You see, they have all been 
dispersed okay the their plan was only the king ship will be brought to the island other ships will not come over here so during the storm the other ships felt that the king ship is lost okay it has uh, uh, undergone a shipwreck and uh, soon they uh, and the king is also dead great person perishments they thought that the king is dead so they very sadly were returning where to re returning to naples prospero ariel thy charge exactly is performed but there is more work what is the time of the day so prospero says you have performed the work very nicely but yes remember that there is more work you have to do something else also what is the time of the day okay what is the time so ariel says past the mid season that means it is already 12 o'clock prospero at least two glasses you know hour glass remember merchant of venice we saw the hour glass so it is 2 hours after 12 Two glasses means two times if you measure it, that means one plus one two. So it is two o'clock in the afternoon. The time between six and now must by us both be spent most preciously. So you see between uh, that means now it is two o'clock and next uh, six o'clock. Within these hours, like from two to six, it is the most important time we must work properly. Ariel, is there more toil? So Ariel now wants freedom. nobody wants to be uh, keep uh, nobody wants to keep on working 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 so he wants freedom he says is there more work since thou dost give me pains let me remember thee what thou hast promised which is not yet yet performed me that means you promised me something you promised to free me but you haven't given me freedom how now moody what is it thou canst demand prospero says okay you are revolting now you are speaking against me what do you want ariel my liberty i want my freedom sir prosper before the time be out that means your time is not yet over when it is time i will surely give you freedom but before that don't keep on complaining no more ariel i pray thee i request you remember i have done the worthy service so you see i have worked for you uh, honestly and loyally i have told you no lies made thee no mistakes i have made no mistakes served without any grudge or grumblings so i haven't complained about doing anything i did everything perfectly thou didst promise to bait me a full year so you promised that you will reduce bait means you'll reduce my time my work period by one full year so now you please do it i have done my work so nicely give me freedom prosper dost thou forget what from what a torment i did i did free thee do, do you remember that you were being tortured like anything and then i was the one who came to your rescue ariel no thou dost and thinkest it much to treat the ooze of the soul you think that uh, the time that you were suffering from there i released you okay and you think that you find it difficult to treat the ooze of the soul deep that means you feel it is difficult if i tell you to go to the salt beds of the sea and walk to run up the sharp wind of the north if i tell you go to the chilly north Uh, uh, fly through the chilly north wind do you think that is difficult for you do you remember your past life what you suffered if i tell you to do me business in the veins of the earth when it is baked with frost so if i tell you to go to the innermost part of the earth and there where there is full of frost if i tell you to walk over there do you find it difficult because once upon a time i think you had a worse life we are we will be now talking about ariel's past life Ariel, I do not, sir. I remember, sir. I am very sorry. I remember about it, Prospero. Thou liest. That means you are lying. Malignant. That means ungrateful thing. Has thou forgot the fowl which Cyrax, who with age and envy was grown into a hoop? Hoop means when you become old. Some you will see some old women or men who turn like a you know the like a U kind of a thing. Ulta U. They will turn like this. Okay. So this means like a hoop. okay so you remember that old man's old woman psychorax who used to torture you has thou forgot her ariel no sir prospero thou hast where was she born speak tell me ariel says sir in algiers so this is a particular place the woman psychorax was from this particular place okay so how did psychorax come from algiers to uh, this island let us know Oh, was she so? I must once in a month recount what thou hast been. So I think I must remind you every month that what a life you used to have, which thou forget. It seems that you are forgetting it. Okay, that is why you are uh, revolting against me. This damned witch, Cyrax, for mischiefs manifold. So this woman 
had caused so many problems was so you know cruel had caused so many troubles in algiers that what happened is sorceries she performed she performed a lot of magic uh, magic and therefore it caused a lot of trouble terrible to enter human hearing people could not even hear the bad things that she did and therefore she was banished she was thrown away from algiers okay she was thrown away from his own land for one thing she did they would not take her life so maybe once in a while she had done something good a good deed in her life therefore she was not killed is not this true do you remember this is true or not ariel i sir prospero this blue eyed hag somebody who is pregnant a pregnant woman is called blue eyed hag so you see this psychorax was pregnant when she was brought here by the sailors thou my slave as thou reportest thyself was then her servant so at that time you were her servant and for thou was the spirit too delicate to act her earthly and abhorred command so you see this woman was very vicious okay cruel and all the bad horrible orders she ordered you to perform and you were a very gentle spirit very delicate spirit and it you refused her grand hest so you refused to do what she commanded okay what she ordered she did confine thee now she became very angry because you did not follow her orders and then she imprisoned you where did she imprison you by help of a more potent minister she knew a lot of magic spells so with all those powerful assistants in her most unmitigable rage she was extremely 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 angry she put you into a cloven pine cloven pine means you see the pine tree which is uh, hollow from within okay hollow pine tree what did she do she put the the little spirit inside the hollow pine tree you can see this picture over here you will be able to understand she put ariel inside the hollow pine tree and what happened this must be very painful within which rift imprisoned thou didst painfully remain so what happened is you continued to be there uh, the psychorax did not free you from there a dozen years how many years he lived like that a dozen years imagine 12 years he was inside that within which space she died and left thee there so now in this uh, during this period in 12 years psychorax to she is dead but where thou didst went thy groan so but she did not free you even when she, up, even after she died there was nobody to free you so you screamed from there it was painful inside the pine so you kept on screaming from there as fast as mill will strike you know mill the mills the blades of the mills they strike the water and there is a kind of sound okay it is very pain it, it like the same painful sound uh, this ariel continued to scream okay like the blades of the water like the blades of the mills hitting the water same way you continue to scream okay constant scream you have seen this mill wheels this will continue to rotate okay this thing you see and hit the water and hit the water this process continues so from here what does prospero want to say that this painful condition continued you were in complete pain okay then was the silent save for the sun she did litter here so at that time only one person living human being was here who is that the son of psychorax he was a freckled whelp full of marks uh, like a, like uh, you, you see na sometimes your face have a lot of red 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 marks like that freckled hag born uh, which born not honored with a human shape he did not even have a human shape okay his face was all with spots and everything yes caliban her son dull thing i say so he that caliban whom now i keep in service you remember that caliban caliban is now under my service he is my servant now thou best knowest what torment i did find thee in you remember na from where i rescued you thy groans did make wolves howl once upon a time when i came to the island i saw you screaming and wolves were also in sympathy in uh, they were also sorry for you and they howled penetrate the breasts of ever angry bears even bears were sad what happened to you it was a torment to lay upon the damned which psychorax could not again undo so psychorax was dead he did she did not free you and you continued to be in that pain who saved you it was my art when i arrived and heard thee that made gape the pine and let thee out so finally i came here i opened the pine tree and finally i let you out from the pain 
Ariel, I thank the master. Now Ariel is again sorry. Now he says, I thank you, master, for that. Prosper. If thou more murmurest that you, if you keep complaining, I will rend an oak and peg thee in thy naughty entrails. So if you keep on complaining, na, I will again punish you. I will put you inside an oak tree and I will twist the bark. So, okay, like let us move to the first picture and understand how we how he will punish. He will put him inside an oak tree. Okay, and what he will do is he will twist this trunk of the tree. He will twist it. So, what will happen? The person inside it will feel the pain, na? So he will punish him like that. Thou hast howled away twelve winters. So I will not free you. And again, twelve years you will inside. Twelve winters means twelve years. So you will be inside that tree only, and you will be. It will be again painful for you. Ariel says, "Pardon, master. I obviously he does not want that life, right? I will be correspondent. That means I will be responsive. I will be carrying carrying out all the orders that you give me." and do my spiriting gently so i will be a submissive spirit i would li listen to you all your orders please master he starts crying prospero do so and after two days i will discharge thee so you perform all your duties your responsibilities then i will free you in two days ariel that's my noble master what shall i do tell me what can i do for you say what what shall i do prospero go make thyself like a nymph of the sea nymph of the sea remember these are also not real creatures okay women of the sea who are very very beautiful and pretty okay sometimes people go mad seeing so so beautiful women so you see turn yourself into a nymph and what he will do looking like that see this is a spirit na he can take any shape sometimes uh, maybe a man sometimes woman anything be subject to no sight but thine and mine nobody should be able to see you invisible to all okay to every eyeball else other than you and me everybody will not be able to see you go take this shape look like a nymph and hither come in it so turn yourself into a nymph into a beautiful woman and come like that to me hence with diligence so do it carefully don't do anything wrong exit area awake dear heart awake thou hast slept well remember miranda was by the magic spell of prospero miranda has again fallen had fallen into a deep sleep so now as soon as ariel goes away Prospero calls Miranda. Awake, Miranda. The strangeness of your story put heaviness in me. You see, your story was so sad. The story of Antonio was so sad that I felt drowsy and I fell asleep. Prospero, shake it off. Come on, we will visit Caliban, my slave. So now, first part of our video is over. Now, Ariel Prospero conversation is over. Now we will see what Prospero tells about Caliban. We will visit Caliban, my slave. Now we are. We will go and visit Caliban. who never yields us kind answer so he is always very rude to us never talks properly with us and miranda also says it is a villain sir i do not love to look on i don't want to go and see him i hate him a lot so you can understand nobody loves caliban because of his behavior but ariel is not that rude ariel is very submissive okay ariel is okay that fine after two days i'll get freedom he's happy with that is when miranda says that see i don't like to meet uh, caliban he is so rude and all that prospero says but as it is we cannot miss him although he misbehaves with us we cannot do without him why because he makes our fire fetches in our wood brings the wood for the fire serves in offices that profit us so you see there are certain things that is required na to survive in on an island so uh, for that purposes this caliban helps them a lot okay in bringing uh, the wood for the fire and all that what how slave caliban the earth the earth means he is a human being unlike ariel who is a spirit so he says where are you human being caliban speak so uh, what the thing is caliban is kept inside a particular place confined in a particular place caliban is a very bad human being okay that is why he is not allowed to live with prospero and miranda he lives in a small cave kind of a thing there is wood enough within so caliban says no 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 i am not go i will not do any more work i there is already wood i have already collected a lot of wood prospero come forth i say prospero says come out there is other business for thee there are other works also that you'll have to do come thou tortoise so slow he is that he is called tortoise when where are you re enter ariel like a water nymph now ariel is already dressed like a nymph and he is here now prospero talks to ariel now find a fine apparition that means beautiful spirit 
my quaint Ariel, my sweet Ariel, hark in thine ear, listen carefully. Ariel, my lord, it shall be done. So Ariel says, okay, whatever task you have given me, I will do that. Exit. Prospero, thou poisonous slave, got by the devil himself upon thy wicked dam. So your father must be the devil himself. Okay. Your mother is already wicked, Psychorax, and your father must also be another devil. That is why you are so poisonous, so mean. Okay. Come out. End a Caliban. Now, Caliban also hates Prospero a lot. Okay. So he says, starts uh, cursing uh, Prospero. Okay. He says, as wicked dew. As ever my, mo my mother brushed with raven's feather from unwholesome fen. So you see, his mother was what? A witch. His mother used to make all those spells with crow's feather, okay? From unwholesome fen. That means from swampy lands, they, uh, they used to do what? His, his mother used to collect the feathers of crows and make all those, you know, the uh, with the dew drops, the morning dew drops are used to be called as unhealthy. So he used to, she used to use all the dew drops and the uh, the crow's feather and all from the swampy land. They, she used to collect all that and make all the magic spells. So uh, Caliban wishes that Kash, those could drop on Prospero and he would always be sick. Drop on you both, both Prospero and Miranda. A southwest wind blow on you. It was said that the southwest wind brought a damp weather which was unhealthy. So he wishes that Kash, you were sick, you fall, fall sick with all the southwest wind and the, uh, the spells of my mother. And blister you all over. May you have blisters all over your body, painful blisters, okay. And it starts paining. Uh, you must suffer and then I will be happy. Caliban wishes that Prospero gets drenched with drops as evil as what his mother collected with a crow's feather from a poisonous swamp. This explanation is a little bit difficult. That is why I have written it here also. You can see it from here. Prospero. Uh, if you are following till now, I hope you are liking my video. That's why you have come up to this much. And yes, uh, it is a small request to you that if you do like the video, hit the subscribe button below and the bell icon also. See, there is a bell kind of a thing beside the subscribe button. If you subscribe every time I upload a video, you will get a notification about that. Okay, so you can immediately... Uh, check the video and find out what has come. Okay, so press the bell icon and also subscribe. And yes, if you like it, do like and comment also if you have any doubts. For this, be sure tonight thou shalt have cramps. So you see, you because you are behaving so rudely, I will uh, cause joint pains. You will have joint pains on your body. Side stitches means you will have cramps and you will be. It is. It will be so painful that you will not be able to breathe. That shall pen thy breath up. You will be, you cannot even take oxygen. Urchins shall for that fast of night that they may work all exercise on thee. So uh, urchins means spirits. I will tell my spirits to bother you all through the night. Okay. Thou shall be pinched as thick as honeycomb. So you have seen honeycomb I think. Madhu Makshiyo ka jo ghar hota hai where they store the honey. So you have seen uh, there are small, small, small hexagonal holes over there all around. So that is why he says that you see your body will be pinched like that honeycomb. Okay. Who will pinch? The spirits will pinch you. It will be painful stinging you will feel. Okay. Then bees that made them. So you will be, it will be more painful than the sting of a bee. When you are hit or when you are bit by, a, you know, the bee, it is already very painful. Your pain will be more than that also. Caliban. I must eat my dinner. This island's mine by Psychorax, my mother, which thou takest from me. You have taken this island from me. I, K, I and my mother came on this island first. So this is my island. After my mother, this is my island. How dare you take it away from me? You don't even allow me to eat my dinner. Now I was eating and suddenly you have called me. When thou camest first, thou strokest me and madest much of me. So when you first came upon the island, you behaved, you showed so much love for me. You gave me water with berries in it. Teach me how to name the bigger light and how the light. What is this bigger light and less? Bigger light means the bigger light, that means the sun, and the lesser light is the moon. So you taught me that, see, this one is the sun, see, that one is the moon, that born by day and night. And then I loved thee because you loved me so much, you behaved so well with me, I also loved you, and showed thee all the qualities of the eye. So I also showed you, I was living on the island for so long, I knew everything about the island. So I showed you good places and bad places of the island, okay? 
so uh, what did I tell you the, about the fresh springs from where water can be collected all around is sea water na? so they also needed fresh water to drink so that also I showed you then I showed you what else I showed you the brine pits the salt wells okay the, the water was not usable the barren places the fertile lands so I, I showed you everything on the uh, island and cursed be I that did so it is a curse that I showed you all that okay I shouldn't have you are so mean you torture me and then also I showed you all that all the charms of psychorax toads beetles bats light on you I hope that every charm of psychorax bothers you for I am all the subjects that you have you see I am the one whom you can control which first was my own king I was first the king of this island and now you treat me as your servant here you tie me you tie me here like a dog in this hard rock I told you not he is kept uh, in a cave like of a like a, uh, a, a place like a cave so you keep me over here like a dog and you see I was the owner of the island I came here first so you take the island away from me whilst you do keep from me the rest of the island he is tied to this cave to this rock so uh, he cannot go out of this part of the island okay so he says that you don't allow me to move around on the on my own island the most lying slave whom stripes may move that means you not kindness nobody can behave well with you only stripes can uh, be used so that you work only if I beat you only then you will work I have used the filth you were dirt okay you were as useless as dirt with human care and lodged thee in my own cell so I behaved well with you I cared for you I brought you into my own house till thou didst seek to violate the honor of my child imagine Caliban was brought to stay inside Prospero and Miranda's house but what did Caliban do Caliban tried to rape and molest who Miranda that is why Prospero and Miranda are angry and they have been keeping Caliban inside that cave now Caliban oh ho oh ho I wouldn't have been, I wouldn't uh, wouldn't had been done so I wish I had done that thou didst prevent me I had peopled this isle with Caliban if you had not prevented me if you had allowed me to molest uh, Miranda then there would be so many children okay all will be little Caliban's in the on the island Prospero abhorred slave which any print of goodness will not take being capable of all ill I pitied thee, took pains to make thee speak, taught thee each hour, one thing or the other. When thou didst not savage, know thine own meaning. So you see, now uh, this is not this is not Prospero. Uh, here is a mistake. This is not Prospero. This will be Miranda. Okay, this is Miranda. Miranda says, abhorred, that means disgusting slave. You are not even sorry that you did such a thing. So Miranda has also taken pains uh, in teaching, uh, teaching Caliban how to speak and all that. Okay which any print of goodness will not take. So you see, I tried to teach you with a lot of goodness, but being capable of all ill. But you being a person who is a criminal, who is an evil man, nothing works with you. No goodness can work with you. I pitied thee, took pains to make thee speak, taught thee each hour one thing or the other. Every hour I try to teach you something or the other, but of no use. When thou didst not, savage, know thine own meaning you couldn't even express your thoughts your mother was dead and you didn't even know how to speak but wouldest gabble like a thing most brutish that means you kept on speaking like sounds only okay like dogs speak only only there were sounds you didn't know how to use words you didn't know anything uh, you were illiterate so you just spoke gibberish like a thing most brutish i endowed thy purposes so now i taught you words with words that made them known. So I have taught you words. But you are a vile race. You are of bad character. The, thou dost didst learn. Had that in it which good natures could not abide thee with. So you see because you are bad. Because you are evil. No education can keep up with you. We taught you. But it had no effect on you. You didn't learn anything from that. Therefore wast thou deservedly confined into this rock. Therefore you are tied to this rock. Who had is deserved more than a prison. Because you are good enough. You are fit to be in a prison only. If you are free. You will cause harm to other people. It is better that you are here. Caliban. You taught me language. See look at Caliban's words. You taught me language. And my profit on it is I know how to curse. The red plague rid you. For learning me your language. So it is good. May you be diseased. Red plague is a disease. You see. It is good that you taught me language. Because you taught me language, I can now curse you. I will use the language in cursing you only. 
prospero hag seed that means child of sycorax hence get away from here fetch us fuel bring me fuel be quick don't be late thou art best to answer other business so if first you bring us fuel then uh, you also have other things to do go away from here now shrugest thou malice so now you are doing as if you are not bothered to do my work okay if thou neglectest or dost unwillingly what i command i will rack thee with old cramps fill all thy bones with aches make that make thee roar that beast shall tremble at thy din so you see if you don't do my work then all your body will have joint cramps your bones will be will be paining you and you will be screaming in pain so much that even beasts wild beasts in the jungle will be sorry for you okay next caliban the last part of the second part okay so caliban now says no pray thee now caliban knows that prospero is very powerful iske sath kuch kiya to garbar ho jayega theek hai to caliban says no pray thee i please don't do this now aside he is very clever also he says i must obey okay his art is of such power he knows so many magic spells that it would control my dams god his mother used to uh, uh, you know uh, pray this god okay he used to uh, sorry uh, psychorax used to go and pray this god okay devotee of setebos okay uh, he, she was very much devoted to this great evil setebos is another devil okay so she used to pray this setebos so caliban says prospero is so powerful that even even setebos will be afraid of prospero he can control setebos also prospero has power to control setebos too prospero so slave hen so if if uh, prospero can control my mother's uh, god then uh, he can cause a lot of trouble to me so i better follow what he says baba prospero so slave hen so get away from here no more talking so exit caliban so caliban leaves now okay here we come to an end to the second part only last part is left i told you it is divided into three parts so the last part will be left which we will be doing which we will do in the uh, the next class okay which will be miranda and ferdinand okay the love story how that generates uh, how that goes on that we will learn about in the next class so i hope this two parts uh, prospero and caliban and prospero and ariel these two parts are clear to you if it if you have any doubts you can obviously write in the comment section and if you want to follow my channel please subscribe thank you so much may you have a great day today bye bye